Glory. Happy birthday to you. Happy solo return. And this is your report for the year. And we're going to just try to dabble into basically pop. Okay. We're going to either find out the process of your perfection as you're maturing, the things that are maturing you, or the process of progress. Maybe you are a creator or in the inventive person. You know, you're trying to build a business or expand. This is what it's all about, growth. That's what solar returns are all about, is growth. So we're going to pull an oracle message. And um, I'm going to pull two, in fact, for your masculine and feminine. I'm in no hurry. This is uh, special. This is crowning glory. I have my own saber too. <laughs> You know, and uh, the great ancestors, you know, like Marcus Garvey and stuff like that, that I take a lot of pride in. So, um, this is that month, and um, this is for you, okay? So, we have 32, which deals with endurance, okay, uh, for the feminine energy. So, you have to think how to continue. Uh, in the struggle, if you're having to endure something, you're definitely letting me know you are in the struggle, okay? And that's going to take a lot of positivity and also a lot of mindset, okay? Your mindset, maybe it has to change or alter, but you're going to have to find ways to endure the struggle so that would make sense that i'm talking to some creators and inventors from the great huey newton who talked about who can transform society what are you trying to transform you know i don't know but on the masculine side we have 42 wouldn't surprise me with you being born under that magnetic uh sign of leo that attracts naturally attracts Fame, fortune, shine, you know, money when you need it, and you have 42, which deals with increase. So, enduring the process, which is growing you up, which is maturing you, is going to lead to an increase. Now, what that increase is, I don't know. It could be a lot of things that make you rich. You could be rich with subscribers, rich with fame, rich with money, you know, rich with love family you know you can be complete like that and, and still not see yourself as a wealthy person but you are wealthy because you have family that's the best wealth in the world okay uh i don't know increase somewhere but you definitely hope it is finances right so congratulations on that let's see how your soul is going to respond to this process of perfection or a process of progress. So I'm going to draw two cards for feminine and masculine, okay? For the endurance and the increase. I'm sure your soul is, <laughs> unless it's the opposite kind of increase, which we pray it's not. Okay, wow. I got them like the little alien. So you may feel alienated. Or, uh, you know, alien, let me tell you something. This makes a lot of sense to me. Because the universe cannot work with the great ones when you are caught up. If you got a lot of friendships and, you know, it's a lot of family and noise, they will find a way to isolate you because it is the only way to get to the root of what needs to be done or what needs to be presented. This is presentation, but it's different. Real different. Ah, you know what I'm saying? But yet dynamic. It's gonna make you dynamic and during this process. It's gonna make you dynamic. It's gonna help you to see the dynamism in yourself. You are recognizing the alienation that is necessary. Remember in your reading, it was like you need to find that space. See, that's why you need real intuitive readers. Everybody on the platform can may read cards, but everybody's not called. 
some people can really see some stuff okay right now I'm looking into an alienated soul an alienated baby okay your baby soul that's some room here but it's it's always been generous and ready to give and hopeful and wanting to provide that's your soul this is your feminine side the more nurturing side right but it's been pushed you feel alienated and i know wherever you are it feels harsh it feels unfair i can identify with you that's why i was sent to you the most high I never send nobody to you that can't identify with you you, you, you notice when certain people come in your life and they ain't been in your shoes trying to tell you something, you, the first thing you're going to say is, have you, have you ever had a child before? Have you ever worked this work? See, that's how you know when it's real. Alienation. I can understand alienation. I've been feeling alienated basically all my life. You are alienated right now because you're being nurtured by the great mother. And you're being disciplined by the great father for some greatness. See this alien? And just think about aliens. When we talk about alien and alienation, they are what? Mysterious. You don't never know when they're going to show up. They leaving you messages and we humans here are trying to figure out what the hell they want. But what we need to recognize is that they are more highly intelligent than we would ever be. We were here before them. They were the light before we knew what light was. Okay? Before it was invented with a bulb. And it did not start with what's the name? Thomas Edison. When the first light bulb wasn't the first light bulb. Electricity didn't start with him. Let's get on to the masculine side. What's going on with my masculine side? Let's see top. Your soul for the masculine. I think you're starting to see things. You're gonna to start to see, and you're gonna start, you're gonna start having some far sight, far sightedness. Gonna be able to see down the road. Because see, I'm talking to some creators and some innovators here, some people that's gonna help change the world, make it a better place. You know, the even the Bible says he's getting ready to do a new thing, it's gonna be a new heaven and a new earth. That's why there's a shakeup going on. That's why a lot of corruption is getting ready to be revealed. Because we can't heal without the shit being on the table. You got to know what the what the, what is the issue? What are we trying to fix? We don't just run around here doing anything, not knowing what we're trying to fix. It's stupid. So it's gonna be a lot of exposure. From the top to the bottom. Because that's what the universe normally does. They always start with the people with the most power, then it trickles on down. Amen. I see you want to protect your head in this increase. You're going, to, you're going to be thinking how to protect your mind, your mindset, your head. Okay? Your emotions, how you think has to be protected. Because this is on the side, also the side of increase. There's a lot of flowering here. You're going to know how to do that. Okay? You're going to know how to swim. See, that's why you're in that holding cell, because you're learning how to swim. You're getting, you're getting the experience, you know. And this was a white girl that said this a long time ago. I was back in, uh, up north, when I got this message. And she said, you know, God gives you the experience and then the lesson. I found that to be the truth. Because you're going through some stuff you may not understand right now. You feel like it is so unfair. Or you've been going through this process and now you understand, you'll come to understand your alienation. Okay? And it's also symbolic for your alienation. You are a nation that is separate from other nations. Or groups of people. You know, it's like from family to family. There are no two families that share the exact culture. My mama ain't like your mama. 
okay? I came from a mother that cooked every day. That's not everybody's mama. I sat down and had dinner with my children. I had my children tell me that they had friends that didn't know nothing about sitting down together and eating a meal, which was foreign to me. I'm like, okay, like you don't sit down and eat with your children? That's foreign to me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what you do. It's, and it's a very precious time. And I know the words that are coming out of my mouth is to be said. Whoever is hearing it, somebody needs to hear it. Sit down at the table with your children and experience what they experience through the day because they're going to tell you. They're going to tell you about their day. Okay? So I see you flowering and growing and protecting your mindset. This could be about who you're sharing your ideas with, who you're sharing with, period. But it's also about knowing how to swim, okay? Increase in knowing how to protect yourself. This right here is the most important thing. I think my mind. If I lost anything, I wouldn't want to lose my mind. I don't want nobody thinking for me. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what's popping out. <laughs> Let's see what's popping out. You, for your birthday, for the soul of return. What should blow up? What should grow up for your blow up, okay? But see, that's what the most high do. He's gonna grow you up before he blows you up. Now, everybody don't get that. I know you be like, but why come them people, they don't they don't be mature because they think they, they ain't as special as you are. They ain't called. They just have the gift of being able to do what they want to do in this life. You that are called, you're going to go through some shit. <laughs> he ain't going to hand you nothing. Two, three, source, what's popping off? What's popping for my crown and glory for the birthday? You got Big Papa. Maybe you're gonna be listening to Big Papa. I don't know. Little Papa Bills is gonna be important to you. It's gonna inspire you, you know. Maybe his story will inspire you because it definitely inspired me. And who inspired me the most about Big Papa is his mama. Cause see, some of us made a mistake. And one of the best things Big Papa Mama did when he made his mistake, she made him eat it up. She didn't go chasing him and running after him. And guess what? She ended up developing a king. Who are we talking about today? Big Pop. Music still pop, right? Big Pop. Every time I turn on the damn TV and go down the scroll, his story still being played. Who did it? Who did it? Inspirational. Big Pop. And he had a baby, a kid young, but guess what? He was a man. He made sure his baby, he did whatever he had to do to make sure his baby was going to eat and have shoes on her feet. Whatever that meant. Big Papa. You know? The risk as a man that has to be taken in order to build your kingdom. That could be the story. It's, it's beautiful. But you're going to have to go through some shit. You're going to have to go through some trenches, some dungeons and stuff to get that when you are going to be blowing up like Big Pop. See, that's why I said you're going to go through some corruption. Masculine. Bubble gum. You turn on some bubble gum, okay? Now, hopefully, you little kids. Unless you're doing good by the little kids. But the bubble gum. Maybe you'll be chewing on some bubble gum when something strikes you or inspires you. Cause I feel like it wouldn't be normal. Or maybe it's going to strike some memory. Cause, ooh, that's funny because um, a few days ago I was somewhere and I saw a bubble gum machine. I was like, wait, no, those things, they still had those. For some reason, it's gonna be significant to you, okay? So what's popping is Big Papa and what's popping is bubble gum for your birthday. 
maybe that's how you think. You know, chewing on bubble gum, popping it and stuff, that sounds very feminine, even though it's on the masculine side. But it's your masculine energy that you'll be using to build your empire. Your masculine energy is what's going to help you make these changes, okay? Let me make sure these are on the right side. So let me grab four cards real quick and let me see what's going on for your soul. Pretty good. I love development. And you're going to come out rich. <laughs> okay, so it's all about letting some things go. That's where your growth is coming from. Letting it go, even reassessing it, but letting it go. You're going to reassess to free yourself. Okay, then we talk about alienation here. This is being alienated. But you have support of family and friends. You have the support that you need. People know your story, okay? People know your struggle. People know your, your stride, okay? So whatever it is, uh, because remember I said in the month's reading, it was the Three of Swords in reverse. It's a release coming, a letting go. That's the healer. It, I see that here in this Five of Cups, okay? And it's all coming out of this King of Cups. Now, this could be you or someone else, okay? Now, this could be a father. You could have been a husband the, 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 or a person's hu the husband person, okay? Um, this could represent a father. I don't know. Or a husband. But you let me go. And it's coming from... Because the, the King of Cups to me is also the provider, So this may be provision for the world or a certain industry, you know. You may this to me sometimes represent teaching, teaching people how to survive, how to swim. Can I say that? And oh my goodness, thank you, Source. So for some of you, you are kind of liking this energy, kind of puts me in the mind of a hurricane. Now, yours may be something different, but the hurricane that was played by Denzel Washington, he had to free himself from hate. You know, he came from a time where, you know, racism was thick and, you know, the struggle was real, you know, and, you know, this, this, these stories are coming up for a reason. But sometimes we don't want to face the truth about our history. But sometimes we're the problem and what we discovered in that movie was the hate that he had because of that experience, which is understandable, but spiritually he had to let it go. And once he was able to let it go, he started soaring. Life started changing. Things became new. And when he was released after doing 27 years time that he did not deserve because he had a demon on his back chasing him because he wanted to cover up his crimes. You want to talk about corruption. You say, why would God take somebody through all of that? Believe me, it's a reason. In the end, you'll have your season and that demon's going to die and the world is going to rejoice that that seed is out of the earth. I'm feeling that kind of energy that's going on with you, whatever that struggle is. Okay? Could be with yourself, could be with society, could be with family, could be with friends, a lover, a husband, I don't know. But you're going to make steps in returning into society to share your life and to gain more life, more insight, more knowledge. Okay? Um, and I feel like that's kind of like a spiritual mission for you this year. You want to let back on. You don't want this baggage anymore. You want to hear. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I see major change coming. And I really feel like you all are going to be able to create out of your pain. Literally. But you're going to have to let some stuff go. And that doesn't mean forgetting the pain per se. You because the pain, the reminder of the pain is what, like I said, makes great art. You know, 
a lot of people don't realize that Mary J saw no more drama that we still be kicking on today. She said before that song was released, it had been written 10 years, but the time wasn't right. See, that's a testimony. But when it was released, I get chills up my body right now just thinking about no more drama. No more drama, baby. No more drama, okay? You got a story to tell, okay? And you're going to be increased because of it. And then we're going to find out what African goddess, great mother is on your side. Who will be speaking to you? Top and bottom, please. The feminine and masculine energy is this nice. Thank you. You got that cow. But I'm not shocked coming from you, crown and glory. You have Ayuzan, the goddess of miracles. Okay. Goddess of miracles is on your side. And on the masculine side, we have Marie Labou. Okay, the good juju. You know, she is regarded as one of the first here in the Americas to practice this art. Okay, she, she was known. She was black. Just like um, Pam Smith, who did the art. For right away Smith, she was a black woman. Yes, I'm very proud, okay? Um, but I'm humble too, okay? Very proud, but I'm humble. So let's find out what's going on with that. 42, what is her message for you, Queen Ayazan? The Queen of Miracles. For my crown and glory for this year, she is the goddess of miracles from Haiti. And she came from the temple of the high priestess. And she's the element of the bush. Okay, so fire, the wand. Mambo, priestess, Ayuzan, is the wise Haitian Ewa deity. Queen of the market. Then I say, y'all get ready to come. Queen of the market, riches, and sacred initiation. Respect her as the highly venerated spirit of the first priestess. You are a magnet for miracles. You are a miracle. What if you truly allowed yourself to believe all things are possible? Dare to dream bigger. Hmm, sounds like Leo to me. You claim you want miracles, but you're taking I'll believe it when I see it approach. What if you will see it after you believe it? See, see that light? The inner light. Believe that you deserve to be, do, have the world you want for yourself. You can be your true self. Do what awakens your soul and have your desires. This is life's miracle. If you haven't witnessed your miracle yet today, ask for it and allow it in. My life is full of miracles. It's the goddess's declaration. That is so beautiful. And when you get all that, don't forget I told you first, you know, we we'll go ahead and look cash out, say thank you, spirit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to go full time. Okay, take care of y'all souls and y'all spirits and stuff. Okay, so let's do Marie Lavu, the good uh, juju. The good juju. Okay, we work in the white light. We don't do dark light. With the people that we love. Now, if you want a dark light and dark all that with the people that you hate or your enemies, go right the fuck ahead. I don't care. But not with the people you love. Goddess of Good Juju, New Orleans, Temple of the Ancestors, and the element is fire. You just on fire, ain't you? The bush and all that, the, the queen of wands. Okay. Good, I'm sorry, great ancestress Marie Labou was a larger than life New Orleans voodoo, a successful spiritpreneur. The famous voodoo queen first built a thriving business as a hairstylist. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? Okay. Good luck is yours now. You have been granted the greatest inheritance. Embrace your divine abundance. You have good juju. Ju. This is a time of increase for you. You are heiress to a rich heritage of divine prosperity. Accept your ancestral inheritance. Good juju is abundance. Luck is being supported by the universe. 
Abundance is a God or Goddess way. Just as you want abundance for those who come after you, your creator embraces wealth for you too. Goddess declaration, all I do is win, 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 no matter what. <laughs> for you crown and glory i think i covered all bases i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to thumbs up this reading and um i'll see y'all in lionsgate peace and one love